I please have a grande oat milk latte with two pumps of sugar-free vanilla? Two pumps of sugar-free vanilla, no problem. Morning. Today I woke up and decided, fuck it, I want to go to the beach and that's exactly what I'm going to do today. I'm going to go to the beach and hopefully take some nice pictures. I'm not going with anyone. I want to be so alone and so quiet. Do you know what sometimes I'm such like I'm such a social person, but sometimes I just want to be so quiet. So obviously I got the Starbucks. Don't worry, I've got a coffee machine in my house now. So but we're missing a part for the milk to make it all nice. You know, the part that goes for the milk. It's not warm. It's not even a little bit sunny, but we go in. It's going to be a good day. It's good vibes. It's an alone day. Oh, it's a bit sunny now. Sorry, this angle is bright. I used to think that like doing things by yourself, AKA, fuck that was bright. Eating in a restaurant by yourself, going out by yourself in general was scary. I need to get over myself. It's, alone time's the best time. I mean, I love my friends, but definitely want to be alone. Sorry, this angle is so bright now. I'm just thinking like the scariest thing I've ever done. I went to Paris for a semester abroad. And usually when you go on a semester abroad, you're like, oh my God, yeah, it's fine because my friends are coming abroad with me um, and we're going to the same school. No, none of that. I went to Paris and there was only one place in the university in Paris for Sterling and I got it, which was amazing. But I went there all by myself and that was really scary, but I made some amazing friends, which were all American, may I add, so I can't speak French. That's neither here nor there. And, and actually going to Camp Berka, I got on that flight and I didn't know where I was going. I had never seen the camp before. I didn't know anyone and I got on a flight. So I did all those things, but I can't go and sit in a restaurant by myself logic gone so today we're going to the beach by ourselves and we're gonna have a good time i brought a mirror is that weird for some like edgy instagram photos why not why the f not right i don't know where i'm going so see you at the beach i've made a grave mistake because first comes coffee then comes and now it comes <laughs> okay i'm at the right beach but i still need to pee oh my god i actually feel like crying i feel like actually bursting into tears the strategy that i'm doing at the moment trying to forget about it, it's not working okay i just need to forget about it i've passed like loads of coffee shops i can go pee in later oh my god right take a couple pictures and leave um this is me talking to myself right here i go here i go it's so stunning here and i can't even enjoy it because i need to pee so i'm trying to find some sort of rock oh my god i'm gonna get arrested i want to thing is it's all fun and games but see when you're by yourself and you need to drop your pants this is dramatic sorry mum what could I do? I'm thinking behind this bush. Jesus Lord. Let's just say I'm now, um, I'm feeling a little bit better. So stunned here. I'm gonna go back and get my mirror. I hope this vision comes to leaf. It's fucking cold. <laughs> Puffer so I can go on a nice big walk. Look at my little nose. Look how nice it is though. It looks so red. May I prescribe if you're feeling a wee bit anxious, go on a walk or do you know what the doctor doesn't tell you? How about go in your car, turn up the music so loud that it's deafening and just go on a drive. They are my two top. I'm having a weird day. Right. Also, I'm not really having a weird day. I'm having a very fun day, but that's just a little tidbit. Cape Cod or Brody Ferry. You tell me. Jesus, thank God I brought a brush. It's like sore. Ah. Oh my God, look how red I am. Look, I brought that brush. My hair is a bit crazy now. I straightened my hair before I went to the beach. Why did I do that? I ended, I went straight up. To conclude, doing things by yourself isn't that scary. A man's looking at me vlogging. Subscribe, sir. No, that was really, really fun. I think I got some good Instagram pictures. It's so windy, it makes me feel a bit sick. Obviously, not a lot is new since I last vlog, but um, we're going back into a lockdown and I'm just wondering, how am I meant to find my husband in a lockdown? We've had so many. Oh, how am I gonna meet a husband if I'm in lockdown? How am I meant to find someone who's willing to bear my children if they keep keeping us inside? However, I do understand as a COVID survivor myself that, you know, something needs to happen. A little something, something. Oh, anyway, that's my main concern. You're on a tilt, sorry guys. The stabilizer, yeah, it's completely fucked. I need to get a new one. I'm just gonna turn it off until I'm happy.
I'm back home now. I'm in the upstairs bathroom. That seems to be a recurring theme of today's vlog, finding a toilet. Thank you for watching this vlog. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I just realized this spot was not here at the start of the day and it's appeared over the um, vlog, so that's cute. It's grown with me. Have a very Merry Christmas. I'm gonna vlog before that, let's be serious. Can't stop and I won't stop. But no, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the love and support. Um, it's a wee hobby of mine and Anyway, I'm still so cold from the beach. That's why I've got my hood up. That's fine. Let's just end that vlog here. But thank you so much again. Peace and love.